good morning this is a uh, fraction review miss green's class fourth grade march 31st it's a tuesday 2020 and students we are studying to do page workbook page 241 242 the first example i have over here is how do how do we read fractions? Okay, so here is a circle. Uh, you can think of a, a circle that is divided into four quarters, just like the clock. Uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15. It has four quarters. Same thing, a dollar has four quarters. 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, and 25. If you add all of them, it makes 100. Now, if suppose you, you have a circle with four parts, one, two, three, four. One quarter is colored red. That means how many parts of the four quarters is colored red? One fourth. One is the, the numerator, the part that is shown in red. And altogether, how many parts does it have? Four parts. The four parts is the denominator. Now, how do we, and that is how a fraction is written. It's not a whole number, it's a part of the whole. Now we're going to study the first thing, compare and contrast, compare order line fractions. That's our first objective, one fourth, or three-fourth. I made a line, a number line, one line divided into four parts. You see the black line over there? So which is bigger? One-fourth is bigger or three-fourth is bigger? If you look at one-fourth, one-fourth comes before three-fourth. So three-fourth is bigger. Going down to another example, two-fifth is bigger or four-fifth is bigger? Two is smaller than four, they both have the same denominators, so four-fifths would be bigger or greater. Now, if you have to write from least to the greatest, five-eighth, seven-eighth, or one-eighth, they all have the same denominators, so we will start with the smallest numerator. So one-eighth is smaller, five, then comes five-eighth, and then comes seven-eighth. We're going on to, that was your second objective you have to study in this unit. We're going on to num comparing unlike fractions. So if we have a number line divided into four parts, one-fourth, two-fourth, or three-fourth, then you have a number line, the same number line divided into eight parts, one-eighth, two-eighth, three-eighth, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8, and 8 over 8. So, what is an unlike fraction? A fraction with different numbers of equal parts that makes a whole. So, in the one number line, there were four parts. In the second number line, there were eight parts. So, which uh, that's what it is when you're comparing unlike fractions. So they are both same length, but the fraction and the fourths is divided only four parts, but the second number line has eight parts. So if you are looking at the first number line, four parts, four parts make a whole. And then the second number line, eight parts make a whole. So which is bigger, one-fourth or one-eighth? One fourth is bigger because one eighth is smaller in compared to one fourth. Okay, we are going on to fraction num the fifth concept in this one. What fraction fractional part is greater, fourth or eighth? One there is fewer fourth than eighth, so one eighth has more parts than one fourth. So one fourth is bigger. Now two eighth is bigger or two fourth is bigger? 
two fourth is bigger because two fourth is completely half of the number line of fourth. But two eighth is not even half of eight. So that's why two fourth is bigger. In case if the numerator are same, if you have one sixth or one third, the smaller denominator names the larger part. So if you have one sixth or one third, so you will say one third is the denominator with the smaller denominator is bigger when you have same numerators. So if you have two third or two sixth, it will be two third because it has a smaller denominator. We're going to the next one and it is talking about compare unlike fractions without pictures. If, so look again, if you have compare unlike fractions without pictures, look at the denominator. So you look at denominator 12 and five. Think which fractional part is greater? Answer, which denominator in each of the each of the number sentence indicates a greater fractional part. The lesser denominator, four fifth, is cre uh, shows indicates a greater fractional part than four twelfth. It takes fewer fifth than twelfth to make a whole. Four fifth only needs one to make a whole. Four twelfth needs eight. So which is bigger? Four fifth is bigger. So think again, four twelfth is bigger or four fifth is bigger? In four fifth, you need only one more part to make a whole because four min five minus four is one, but 12 minus four is eight. So you need eight parts. So it, the four fifth is bigger. Now the next one you have, you're studying is a fifth imp improper as mixed fraction, improper fractions. Three over two, three, three over two is bigger. Three, rem the numerator is bigger than two. So denominator is showing how many parts a circle is divided into. If you look at the first circle, it's divided into two parts, but it has an extra half. So altogether, how many halves do you have? One, two, three. That's why it's written three over two. Three over two equals how many twos in one? One, that's why one, two is uh, grouped into one. And one, one over two. So whole number and fraction together makes a mixed fraction. Now we are comparing mixed fraction. Six one over three or six two over three, which one is bigger? Six two over three is bigger because the, the whole numbers are same, the denominators are same, only the numerators are different. The one mixed fraction has a different numerator than the other one. So six, two over three, two is bigger than one. So six, two over three is a bigger mixed fraction than six, one over three. And that completes my explanation for a fractional review, workbook page 241, 242. Now students, open your book and do your page 241, 242.